Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing our third cash stuffing of June. And I am so excited because I'm going on vacation this week. So kind of prepping towards that, trying to pre-film this. So I have this up for you guys on Thursday. But if you guys are new here, I do cash stuffings every single week and I share my financial journey with you all. So if you're interested in that type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on my journey. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with our cash envelopes and we're just going to move my sinking funds envelope to the side out of the way so we can just focus on our cash envelopes. Right, and this is a five week month. So my cash that I'm stuffing is a little bit lower than usual. So just keep that in mind whenever you're watching. In food, we have $130. So we're going to be putting 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, and then we're gonna grab a 10, make that 130, as we always do, guys. 130 into food. And I've been trying to eat really healthy these past couple of weeks, even more so than usual, because we are going scalloping. So we'll be on the water, I'll be in a bathing suit for like four days straight. So trying to look the best that I possibly can. But with that being said, food has been way more expensive because healthy food for some reason is pretty costly. So yeah, I feel like I've been going over budget a little bit in food, so I need to keep an eye on that. Next up, we have stock up. We're putting 20 into stock up. And I did go last week, so we, I had to take some money out of here. So we have a total of $40. And as I mentioned before, I love to buy like my meats there. We love the salmon and the steak um, and chicken is just like so much of a better price than Publix. Next up is spending. We're putting 30 into spending. And I hate to say this guys, but to be fully transparent with you, I already bought some books with this $30. So this is going directly back onto my credit card because I've been on such a reading kick lately. I finished two books this weekend and I'm hoping to finish some more whenever I'm on my trip. Um, so I wanted to get some like summary books. I've been really into Emily Henry and I just finished Happy Place and guys, I was like crying <laughs> reading that book. That's how you know it's a good one. So I ordered some more by her and I'm really excited to read those. So that's where my spending money has been going. We have a total of $50 in there total and I'm pretty sure I spent $50 exactly on books this this weekend. So that's perfect. I'll take that out after this to put back onto my credit card. Next up is household. We are putting 20 into household this week. I had planned to go to World Market and look for some stuff there, but honestly, I just didn't feel like it this weekend. So we have a total of $40 in household. And honestly, I didn't need to go, so. I'm pretty proud of myself for not making that trip because I easily would have gone over budget. Next up is health and we are putting $10 into health and I haven't been putting as much into health or I don't plan on putting as much in there because I do have my health savings account which I have a debit card that links to it. So that's been really, really helping me. And um, I believe it has tax advantages too. So I've been loving that. Next, or not next up, oh my goodness. Total, we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. With that being said, I don't believe my HSA covers like free workouts and stuff like that. So I am gonna have to pay my boyfriend back for getting a free workout that he ordered for both of us. Um, but that was only like $20, so. Next up is nails. We're putting $30 into nails. So the reason I put so much in here is because I had planned to also just get like a gel color change on my toes before my trip, but I decided not to because um, I'm going to the Keys in July and I'd rather have my, my uh, pedicure closer to the Keys than for this trip. Next up is makeup. We're putting $5 into makeup and we already have a good bit in there. See, we have a total of 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60 in makeup. And guys, let me know down below if you've been seeing my videos pop up um, on your feed or within your subscription box because for some reason, I don't know if it's my content or what, but YouTube has not been showing my videos. Um, as much as it used to. So I'm curious if you guys are seeing them on your feed as well. 
Next up is buffer. We're putting nothing in buffer this week because we do have five in there and that's really all I need. So moving on over to our sinking funds. I hope everyone is having a good month so far. I honestly can't believe that I'm filming this on June 13th. It's almost the middle of the month, which is wild to me. Next up is hair and we're putting $10 into hair. I think I've said this a million times, but I do need a new shampoo and conditioner. So that's what's on the radar. So we have a total of 10, 20, 30, 35, $40 into hair. And that should be actually enough for hair, so I should go and get those soon, maybe after my trip. Next up is aesthetics, and we are putting $5 into aesthetics this week. Right. I was looking into getting like, not a Morpheus 8, but another facial that is really expensive, and I was looking at some of the providers in my area, and it was like $1,200 for like, a facial, which I mean, I'm, I'm, I know it's like a more complex one and one that has to be done by like a nurse practitioner, but yeah, that was, that was crazy to me, like over a thousand dollars. And I don't know, I feel like I need something that just like works better than that. That's cheaper, but I'll keep looking. So we have a total of 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, and 57 in aesthetics. Right, Christmas, my favorite envelope. We're putting 20 as always into Christmas and we are so close to that $500 mark, which I know I've been harping on forever. So we have a total of one, one, two, 220, 240, 260, 280, 3, 320, 340, 360, 380, four, 420, 440, 450, 455, 460. We are on track to make that to $500 by the end of the month. All right, gifting, we're putting five into gifting and it is Father's Day upcoming. So I'm sending my dad something today actually, which should get to him by Father's Day. So I do need to take some money out of this envelope to put towards what I purchased. So we have a total of 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, one, two, three, and four. $94 into gifting. All right, car, we are putting 10 into car. So we have a total of five, 550, 560, 570, 580, 596, 605, 610, 615, 620, 625, 630, 635, 640, and 645 dollars in car, which I am super happy about. I think this is honestly the most that I've ever had in my car envelope ever. Next up is vacation. We're putting 40 into vacation. So we're going to do two twenties. Like I said, I'm going scalloping. So that is what this money will be used for. So we have a total of one, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 293, 310, 320, 325, $330 in vacation. Next up is luxury. We're putting five into luxury this week. Always like to give that just a little something. So we have a total of one, two, 250, 255, 260, 265, 270, 275, 280, 285, 290, 295, three, one, and two. So we finally reached that 300 mark in luxury for a total of $302. So happy about that. Even closer to the $500 mark, which is wild. Next up is business. We're putting 10 into business. Right, and we have a total of 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, one, one, two, three, four, and five. So we have 105 into business. Finally reached that $100 mark, but that will be leaving soon to purchase my cash envelopes. Next up is subscriptions and we're putting 15 into subscriptions today. I've been pretty good about not adding any like TV services and whatnot. So it has stayed pretty steady. So we have a total of 20, 30, 40 and $45 in membership. 
Right, house, we're putting $10. I was really proud of myself for being able to put $10 into house this week. I feel like I've been putting fives for so long that it just needed a 10 in the mix. So we have a total of one, two, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 235, 240, 245, 250, 255, 260, 265, 270, one, two, and three. 273 into house. And I've said this a couple of times, but if you're new watching, this is for like either moving expenses or buying a house in the future. One is probably gonna come before the other. So I just wanna be prepared for both scenarios. Um, I know obviously 273 is not enough for a house down payment, but it's better than having a zero. So next up we have tax and we're putting five into tax to end off this cash stuffing. So we have a total of one, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 1, 2, 3, and 4. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.